This week, I'm going to turn this ordinary bicycle pump from this into this. <laughs> For this project, you'll need one quarter inch braided tubing, a one inch male thread to one half inch female thread PVC fitting, a one half inch male thread to one quarter inch female thread brass fitting, a one quarter inch thread to one quarter inch barb fitting, an electronic sprinkler valve. You'll also need a pressure chamber. It needs to have a one inch male thread on one side and a bicycle tire valve on the other. I already had this one. First locate the output port on your sprinkler valve. Then thread in the PVC fitting. Next thread in the brass adapter. And then finally the barb fitting. We shouldn't need any Teflon tape for our purposes. This is what it should look like when it's done. Now attach your hose. Just press it right on. Now we need to cut a small exhaust port on the other end of the hose. This will allow the air to escape after the piston's been actuated. Start small and slowly make it bigger until you get the effect you need. Now let's look at the bicycle pump. First unscrew this small cap. Once the cap's removed, you can just pull the hose right off. Now press on the new hose in its place. Next wrap the pressure chamber in gas rated teflon tape. This is the yellow tape. The white tape is rated for water and it won't work for this purpose. Then thread the pressure chamber onto the input side of the sprinkler valve. Next you'll need three 9 volt batteries in series. Just attach the sprinkler valve wires and it works. If it's not going down on its own, you need to make the exhaust port a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to attach this cheap plastic skeleton with some twist ties. Then I'll hook up a homemade floor switch from a previous project. Now when I step on the switch, it works great. A little bit more pressure should actuate it faster. That looks a little bit better. So that's an easy project you can do in a day. I don't think all bicycle pumps will work though. You need to make sure the one you use doesn't have a one-way valve installed. If there's a one-way valve, the air won't be able to get back in to push up that handle. So have fun, and go scare some people. Don't forget to like or subscribe! Ha <laughs> ha! You've been duped!